It's been the same for months now. I love that idea of the supernatural world of these casters hiding under this small little town. It's like I've known her all my life. Well, it's about two worlds that exist side by side. And I want her, no matter what happens. There's something about Lena. She's just different from anybody else. He's just drawn to her. Lena first comes into Ethan's life in the middle of a road. You almost killed me! What were you doing standing in the damn road? He sees this incredible sophistication in her. Been in a lot of schools? Yeah. It must be nice. I only ever lived here. It must be nice. She has this no-nonsense personality. Oh my god, you mean Ethan Wake drove me home? You've heard of me? No. <laughs> and tell your friends about the freak. You really think I'm that guy? What charms her is Ethan's brash enthusiasm. You can't complain about not having any friends and then make a guy work this hard trying to be one. With Lena, I no longer feel so alone in this town. I start to feel like I have somebody. And what I thought I needed to leave Gatlin for, I actually can have with her. Lena? I agreed to let you attend what passes for a school in this town, but no friendships. That boy is a danger to you. She has never experienced acceptance in her life. It's an alien idea to her. I shouldn't be in the same class as a Ravenwood. Emily, shut up. My mama says the same thing. Says her whole family are Satanists. We find out that she is a supernatural. On her 16th birthday, she's either going to be good or bad. Her parents will be claimed for either the light or the dark, depending on my true nature. I am trying to keep any influence away from her that could possibly allow her to turn. Do you see the way she looks at the boy? One of those influences, I believe, is love for a non-caster. That first heartbreak. It's enough to turn any girl dark. Ethan and Lena's mission throughout the film is to find some way to stay together. The curse can be broken. Get rid of him. What? I yelled at you because I care about you. I'm scared I'm gonna hurt you. A story about first love, good and evil. I've been going out of my mind for the last two weeks. I don't care about them, about the curse. You are not going dark and you are not losing me. No matter what you do, no matter what they do to me, I'm still here. Now what does that tell you?